Thank you very much. So um, if I could introduce um, the two other speakers. So we have Tim Jones from AOL in the UK, and then Guillermo Abud from Batanga Media in the USA. Um, so as you will see, um, this session is all about how native advertising works. So what I thought would be useful would be to start off with a very quick definition of native advertising. So for me, what native advertising is, is advertising which is very distinctly produced for the environment that it's appearing in. So we heard Andy from Facebook earlier talking about how videos work better in the Facebook newsfeed if they've been created with some sort of intention that they appear within the newsfeed. And so other forms of native advertising are things like the ads you see in Instagram, the ads you see on Snapchat, where the sizes won't allow them to fit equally onto other things. We also see, as, as sort of poster children for native, things like the things you get on BuzzFeed. These are a couple of things that we did ourselves last year for, um, for General Motors, both in the UK and Germany, using the BuzzFeed formula, using the BuzzFeed journalists to produce content specific for a, uh, a General Motors car. Um, another thing about native advertising is when you take the BuzzFeed model, where you tie it in very much with content marketing, what we see is um, ad spend on native rising enormously. So last year, the two biggest ad formats in the UK that were growing were video advertising and native and content advertising. In terms of technology, there's a bit missing in the technology because by being so specific to the site, you're not deciding which site the ad should appear on, but you are deciding when you see a member of the audience which particular sort of creative to show them. And so with that, what I'm going to do is pass over to Guillermo and then Tim to talk about how you use data to see how native advertising works. Thank you. <laughs> 